This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, what does the Morph UV Timer preference do inside of ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the Earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is referring to the slider that's located in Preferences, Interface, Miscellaneous, and it's this Morph UV Timer slider right here. So what does this slider do inside of ZBrush? So this slider controls the speed in which a model will be transformed to its UVs when you press the Morph UV button. So if we get over here to the tool palette, and I'm just gonna go to the subtool palette here quick, and I'm just gonna only show Earthquake's body, and then I'm gonna navigate down here to this UV map area. Now, right next to the delete UV button, there's this Morph UV switch. So if your model has UVs and you click this Morph UV switch, it's going to take your model, and then when you click this, it's going to transform your model into the flattened version. So the version of what your model would look like in its UV form. So this switch here will just allow you to quickly see the UVs on your mesh while you're working. Now the slider over here in the preferences is going to control the transition speed in which this process happens. Now, one thing to note is that when you click this button, if your model has more than 1 million points, the process is going to be instantaneous and it's not going to respect this slider. So I'm gonna to navigate to the geometry tab here. I'm gonna switch Earthquake down to the fifth subdivision level and then just do a delete higher. And now if I go back to this UV map area and now click Morph UV, you're gonna see it's going to transition like so, but you're gonna be able to see that process take place. So you wanna make sure that in order for this timer to work, that your model contains less than 1 million points. So if we wanted this process to happen slower, we can just go up to this preferences tab here. We can increase the value of this timer. And now when we come back to the UV map area and click Morph UV, you're gonna see this process is going to happen a lot slower. So this process here of using this Morph UV is useful if you're making a movie or recording of your ZBrush session and you want to just have the model transform so you can see its UVs. So if you increase the slider value, it's going to make this process a lot slower. And then if we come back up to preferences here, after this is done transforming, and now we decrease the slider, say around one, now we click it again, the process is gonna happen a lot faster. So that is all the preferences, interface, miscellaneous, Morph UV Timer Slider is doing inside of ZBrush. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.